Welcome everyone to another Growing with the Gold. Today we're gonna check in on these potatoes we planted just a few weeks back. We're working on getting these well-developed plants and filling Woo! in the soil around them so we get a big pot full of potatoes for the end of the season. We planted these really low in the pot, folded them down, and now we're gonna go through, fill in around the plants, and start to fold up the pots as they get taller. You can see they're really filling in, they're getting taller. And we just wanna put this soil in around them so all of that stem starts to produce additional tubers. So today for this project, we're gonna use our brand new planting mix. This product is gonna be coming to shelves near you in the very near future. We're waiting on our bags to come in from our printer. This is a registered product, Royal Gold Planting Mix. It's a combination of composted forest materials, coconut fiber, and a few amendments to really get that product charged and ready for your plants. So one thing I wanna do is try and be careful to not really damage these plants as we fill in around them. So at least to start, I'm gonna kinda of go by hand and then we'll get a little more aggressive. One thing I love about gardening is sharing tips and tricks, learning from others, and trying to get better, find new and exciting ways to play around in the garden and get better results. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe. So if you have any tips or tricks you'd like to add, jump into the comments, share. We wanna create a community here where we improve everyone's gardens. As you can see, these plants are pretty sturdy. You can just pour this planting mix in around them, kind of push it around. Obviously don't wanna break your plants, but it's okay to have them move around a little bit, lay down, get covered extra with this planting mix. It just makes more potatoes. So this here is our bonus pot of potatoes. This was the potato pot from last year. There were a few tiny little, just little itty bitty spuds that I just left in this pot. I mulched it up and left it for the winter. You can see all of these just kind of volunteered from those potatoes from last year. So I'm gonna pull the mulch out. You can see some nice little wiggly worms in there. And do the same thing, you top them off. All right, so we've got these topped off. We're gonna water them all in and get them on their way. One of my favorite things about this new planting mix is the way it accepts water. It's so permeable. So many composts and other products get muddy and don't wanna let the water flow through. You'll be amazed at how this planting mix accepts water, holds it well, but also keeps a nice, fluffy, aerated texture. Check it out. All right, so our potatoes are good to go for today. Next time we come back and check in on them, we'll be folding up the sides of these pots adding more soil, bringing that level up again, just like we did today. And we should do that two, maybe three more times before the end of the season where we let the plants finish their flowering and growing process. And then we'll dump them out and see how many potatoes we get. Thanks for joining us on another Growing with the Gold.